Hi, welcome to Design Art Studio. Today we will make this, orange tone banner design, in Affinity Designer. And I will show you how to add an, orange tone, to the background, using another image. Create a new square document. Select the rectangle tool, and draw a background on the artboard. Lock the layer, and change its color to white. Now, add the image, that you want to use as, the background. You can search for the image, from the stock panel, or you can use your own photo. After adding the photo, rescale it, and set its position. For the orange tone, we will use another photo. Again you can search, from the stock panel, or you can use your own photo. After adding the photo, rescale it, and set its position. Now, add the mask layer, to this photo. Select the mask layer, and paint over, with the black to white, linear gradient. And set the gradient position, as the requirement. Now, select the rectangle tool, and draw the rectangle, almost half, of the artboard. Change its color to the white. And add a mask layer, to this rectangle. And switch over to the pixel persona. Select the brush tool, and in the brush panel, Select the Dirty Acrylic O2 brush, from the Acrylic Brush Set. And paint over the mask layer, with the black color selected. You can adjust the brush size, for different results. This is how you can achieve, like the brushed effect, or the paper torn effect. If you are satisfied with the result, then switch back, to the designer persona. Now, for giving the orange effect from the downside, duplicate the image and flip it vertically. and set its position as per requirement.
Now add the logo, and all the text, as the requirement. I'm using my pre-made custom assets, follow the link, in the video description, for more info. Now, we will add a colorful effect, to this text. Select the both text layer, duplicate them. And click the add button, in the geometry option. It will combine them into one layer. Now select any colorful photo, from the stock panel. Drag the photo and rescale it, and clip it into the layer. and set its position as per requirement. Add a brightness and contrast layer, onto this photo, and adjust the values, as per need. Now duplicate this photo, and clip it with our book now button. I hope you like this video. If you want more videos like this, please write yes, in the comment box. Please subscribe to this channel, and share this video with your friends. I'll see you in the next one. You can always, check the next video here.